Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is how do you arrange your books? Well, I have two arrangement methods, one for ebooks and one for print books. My ebooks on my Kindle, I have the standard folders of read to read and reading. I've also created a reference folder to hold books that I'm going to want to refer to over and over again so I can find those easily and a review folder so that I have a separate location for books that I want to review so when I next want to start a book for a review, I don't have to go through my to read folder to find exactly where it is. I've got them separated out for ease. But I run my Kindle on names and authors rather than covers or shelf views or anything pretty. So the file structure is very much based on having a couple of extra files to find the things that I want potentially to refer to at a point in the near future without having to go through all of the books I've got to read or all of the books that I've read. But mostly I'm using the reading folder so that if I need to shut my Kindle down for any reason, I can find the books I'm reading at the moment. Print books wise, I arrange them on a shelf with the spines facing towards me. I keep all of a series together wherever possible and I try to put big books on a wider shelf, not for any aesthetic reason but just so that everything fits and if I get a tall book I might take a short book off a taller shelf put the tall book in there and move the short book up just so I don't end up in the situation where I have to put a book in sideways because my primary search method for bookshelves is to catch sight of the title or author or remember what the spine looked like rather than know exactly where the book will be without having to look. I do, to a certain extent, group topics together. So my vampire books tend to be in one place. My Cthulhu Mythos books tend to be in one place. But usually I put books where they fit on the shelves rather than grouping by author and then in date order within author or having everything by topic group so all of the fantasy books are there by author and then by publication date or whatever so the closest it gets to an arrangement is if i decide to reread a series i can take the first one off the shelf when i put it back the next one is right next to my hand to take off and if i do happen to pass by there's no chance that i will be slightly irked by the fact that Things are one, two, four, seven, three. So again, it's as stripped down as it can be and still provide what I want, which is the ability to take the book that's next to the series off the shelf. But there's no aesthetics to it. Again, I don't want my shelves to look beautiful because the books are primarily there to read. And so picking a copy to match an aesthetic doesn't seem something that's worth the extra cost and effort to me. But once I've disregarded that, trying to arrange the books I've got seemed a little bit like an art project rather than a shelving methodology. And whilst I love the look of many books, if I'm creating art, I'll try to create art. The books are there to be read. So I think uh, 
That's my answer. Toodaloo.